Hey guys. Hey, what's up? What's up, all the people from Eleven Time Zones? Here we are. <laughs> what's up? Seven people from Eleven. That's awesome. Hello. All right, nine people out of 11. Let's see. Something All right, guys. Is, hi, something is wrong with Zoom, no? Uh, Lately, it's this really is, hard for me to connect. Yeah, this the security update. That's the, the thing. They're okay. getting bad press. That's what's wrong with it. Wow. Okay. Awesome. okay, we got one more person joining. A lot of people today. Um, okay, so quick introduction into my uh, my role in, in the current risk factors team. I'm trying to uh, delegate as much pos as possible in terms of calls and management to Yason, which uh, should be able to schedule calls and manage them starting tomorrow, which is great. Will help me a lot. And um, basically, I'll, I'll leave Maya to lead everything, lead the calls, and I'll be more of a passive participant, just so you know. Sounds good? Yeah. All right. I'll let you kick off. So uh, basically, actually, we have uh, quite a nice programs, uh, quite, quite a nice uh, progress, thanks to Kevin. Now we have uh, big rams with heart diseases that looks extremely relevant. We started the uh, testing uh, with uh, search tools that do exist at the moment, and it looks good so far. And the only thing that I would like to ask Kevin is to uh, also provide us with reproducible uh, code. Um, and uh, probably we need to do uh, three grams from here and we have a team uh, working hard on uh, uh, the rest of the task, uh, which means uh, to extract uh, uh, keywords and uh, number of citations, et cetera, et cetera. I think we have some progress in there as, as well. So <clears throat> I think that if uh, within, let's say two, three days, we get some results on that, our next step is to create <coughs> a reproducible code that uh, will kind of help us uh, to capture other tasks the same manner we did with heart diseases, if it works. And we will already have some results to present and we will have to move to uh, form, form, uh, formalizing everything as a Kaggle uh, notebook. The question to everybody, if we have some uh, problems, if we need some inputs, if there are information lacking or something doesn't work, what can I do for you? Who do you need? I have one problem. I was going through the data and I could not find any data for number of citations. Uh, we have mentioned that in the output section, we need number of citations for the paper we have. But uh, in none of the data set, the, anywhere the number of citations were mentioned. I went through the net and I couldn't find a proper tool for finding that. So do we include it okay. or not? There is, there is actually a graph of citations, which was done by uh, an outside uh, organization. And I will try to get that's that graph as a data okay and then okay, share sure. with everybody so it will be kind of an extra an external source from where we can get that um, are you, okay, sure. information jason uh jason's data set on citations uh, in our data set mm. no uh, mm. i i don't think it's our data set Okay, so it's an I external saw. data set as I understand. 
So I'll there is that. a data set on Kaggle in our uh, Corona Y data set that is a graph of citations that Jason produced, I think. Um, yes. but, but so it, we can use that. So let's integrate yeah. with that one. Okay, got it. Okay, we'll do something for it. Okay. I'm missing data on Maya, you know, right? Yes, I know that uh, the data for uh, Noah, I, she's focusing more or, uh, on uh, uh, quantitative research and the problem that uh, when we looked at the graph uh, and Noah working specifically on smoking versus death, is death rate, okay? When we look at the graph, we pretty much see, as I understand, normal distribution. Which means that the death, the death, most likely the death rate is not accurate. This is the problem number one. Prob problem number two with this specific thing is that smoking rate in the countries is also not always true. For example, in China, almost 80% of male population do smoke where they're reporting something funny there. 27. That's kind of all the way off. So I, I uh, plan to talk with Daniel on how to work around uh, this problem. Yeah, but mostly we have problems with the um, corona prevalence. I mean, we don't have the correct uh, number of active cases, deaths and recovered and which stage each case is in, if it's mild or if it's like really bad. You know, if they need to, um, I will. I way. will ask. I think that this data, in a clear and uh, good um, way, simply doesn't exist. And what a, and the problem of the data that does exist is that, for example, number of confirmed cases <clears throat> more uh, more uh, correlated to a checks policy in a country rather to, than to a number of actually uh, sick people. So okay. I, will, I will definitely talk with Daniel and ask him what can I do in, in, in that sense. Uh, that's, that's no known issue. Okay. Uh, Daniel, he's a team leader of uh, Geotask and he has a lot of data sets. So let's see what he has and what can we do. Okay. I think I, I talked to him and he just told me to talk to uh, Raj and uh, Raj told me that this is a data set. There's nothing they can do for now. Uh, no, I think anyway, the data set for uh, active and recovered cases, but not for the severity of the disease. Amazing. Can you send it to me, please? <laughs> okay, sure. I will uh, okay. I'll send I have you the link. For which region do I have that? Uh, uh, pardon? Uh, for I which have... region do I have that? Uh, it was for the whole country, I think. Uh, they updated regularly. Oh, whole okay. world, sorry. Okay, cool, cool, amazing. Okay, perfect. Uh, any other problems that we have so far? Hi, Robbie. Hey, Queen Maya, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I call Maya the Queen uh, because she keeps all the subjects in line and doing what we should be doing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, uh, Robbie, uh, I just a quick question. Uh, we've got right the edible uh, LDA that we can basically uh, use now within the Kaggle with various three grams and big grams, right? We do have that. So, like, if we have a new guy, we can provide them with code, and it's workable piece, right? We are we are That's fine right. there. Okay, perfect. That's amazing. So we have that. That's really good. And a uh, team who is working now on extraction uh, of uh, papers related to heart disease, where do we stay, what do we lock, how can we push it a little bit because we really, we are, we, we, we are short of time. And if now it will turn out that semantic search is not a good idea, we almost don't have time to pivot. So if we can some, somehow push it, it would be amazing. So um, if you can like kind of give me a quick update, where do we stay, it would be perfect. Silence. 
<laughs> Silencio. So we don't know where they will stay. It's probably, probably I need to uh, talk Who's to Mr. Wang. Where? What? what is the question? What is the question? Who stand well? Uh, extraction of the papers for oh. the heart risk. What's I going no on idea. there? <laughs> Amazing. Know. So okay, I uh, will. Uh, we are we are trying what we try to do. Like now, for example, Kevin provided us with some big rums. And it's exactly time to push it a little bit and to start extracting uh, the papers that contain that big rums and see what do we get. Um, so you're, so, so you're, you're looking at the whole data set of papers. You have yes, identified interesting full, trigrams and you are full text papers. Out the papers that are relevant. Yes. And you're excluding yeah. everything else saying this doesn't matter for this particular question. Someone yes. is working on the task and the output will be the set of papers. We have a group. We have a group that is called a uh, heart risk factor. If you are not there, please PM me, I will add you. And there we kind of collectively collabor collaborate on, uh, on this uh, subject. But I see that it a little bit went all over the place. So I will try to, to pull the pieces together so that we understand where we are. Okay, I, I also had a question about the um, smoking data and the integrity issue you talked about with uh, data from China. Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I understood that correctly, so I'm gonna state, state what I thought you were saying the, the problem was, is that you know that you're not getting accurate data from China, and so it, with respect to the death rate from what you're looking at, you feel like that's no. inaccurate for other no, knowledge? No, no, it's, it? no, no, it's not just from China. It's about, it's mostly about a problem that we don't have uh, data about the case, corona cases in each country and what's going on with them. It's not accurate at all. And there's a lot of missing data, but now the results are that there is, there is no, if, you, if you're smoking, there's not higher chances that you get corona, but if you're smoking and you got corona, then you might die, that's it. But it's really small and it's obvious. So, so, so anyway, is there, there is not enough data. Identified in the data right now. Uh, missing data, I can just send you the link and you'll see the data set that I have. It's just not good and not correct and a lot of unknown. Is it something, something that could be extrapolated from other data sets within a range? Uh, I don't know. This guy, I don't know who he told me he's going to send me some uh, uh, data set. So I hope it's going to be good enough. So, so, so there's a chat that has all of these. You, someone can send that to me, the data sets where the problem is. Yeah, there is no, yeah. Thank so you, I appreciate it. That. That yeah. So guys, try to kind of <clears throat> PM to each other and maybe even now add me to the conversation and let's see what can we do. Yeah, wait, who's talking to right now? To, to collect the pieces of the data that we are missing. Okay, so Maya, I'm sending you the link and you just send it to anyone who wants it. Okay, amazing. So please, then please PM me if you need, uh, if you want to take a look, okay? Cool. Uh, okay, so I understand what are uh, our action items at the moment. And uh, if someone has any questions, we can answer them. I had a quick question. Um, and probably Michael Smart Caven will be uh, helpful for, for this discussion too. Uh, we're trying to figure out how to uh, better prepare a kind of a dummy output uh, for, for the things that you're working on. And we understand that you're currently looking into two dimensions to kind of prioritize and make sure we have some uh, submission and some result. And from my understanding, that's primarily heart disease and smoking. So my question is, what are the dimensions that you're looking at that you would easily describe as columns in, in this table? Uh, like things that you mentioned yesterday, is it um, an animal study? Yes, no, and things like that. Um, yeah, it... we, exactly. 
uh, today we had call with Andrew and Yason. So we will work on a paper <clears throat> that has like kind of very high level of description and then it goes uh, more into details and then I will probably even be able to draft um, a first kind of a table as it as it should be like the output for example we have the description of the output okay but it's not yet converted to something that looks like a database like a table mm -hmm. so I will do that sounds amazing would, would, it be, okay. would it be possible I mean or would it be to come up with be, before actually generating the data just because I know that there's a lot of work and a lot of people need to coordinate um, would it be possible to specify you know, what an example row would be like, not necessarily at a real row that will be in your set because it may not be relevant, but to sh show us a table, fill in three rows and say, the these are the sorts of things that you'll see. Is that, we is can, that uh, this point we could do at this point? We can have this by, by tomorrow, I believe. We can prepare a sample and... Uh, Amazing. Yeah, we are working, we, we've discussed it today and we are working on that. We understand that at this point, it's crucial to have that as well sounds great it's crucial for other teams um you know to, to be able to help you also because you're doing a lot of important work on getting the right answers and understanding the data you're very deep there um in order to be able to submit it we need to have that in, in an output format where it's displayed and consumable and visualized uh if we had in a, a simple example of just you know three rows that show what sort of data we'll be examining, then we could go ahead and get started on the visualization aspects so that you guys have more time and less pressure to produce something that's fully submittable in that time and you can focus more on where you're already so deep in. Okay, we will- Oh, uh, that sounds we great. Will, we will provide the sample tomorrow and we can proceed from there. Can I ask that's a question to the guys that- uh, appreciate it to you guys that are more experienced with Kaggle, since we have to submit uh, some kind of notebook along with the data set, uh, do you think the fact that uh, some uh, manual uh, manipulation of the keywords uh, has taken place, is it something that is uh, within acceptable uh, levels? Okay, so quick answer, yes, it's acceptable. I okay. asked Anthony, CEO of Kaggle, on that. He said, whatever is going to produce the most useful, you know, submission, it's okay. Uh, obviously, we're trying to fit the, the guidelines of submission, but it's more important to fit those um, metrics that um, they're outlining, like the accuracy of how we are answering the question and how useful it is. And you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then uh, I understand. Yeah. So what, what will we put on the notebook? We will say that, uh, okay, we remove these keywords because we know that they are irrelevant, for example. Yes, so like what we will okay. have to do is explain our reasoning uh, for our actions and explain why we think that's uh, a logical step. That's okay. it. Um, <clears throat> from my side, I simply know that uh, after we get kind of relevant big grams and tree grams, even by exception method, and even if we will have code that is partially reproducible, I will then be able to kind of uh, dress it with the uh, roots uh, and uh, semantical or uh, philological analysis, which are kind of a, a, a valid uh, a scientific approach. So it should be fine at the end. In terms of a methodolo methodology, it's going to be acceptable. Okay, good. But I hope that we will be capable of producing code that kind of um, gets uh, relatively clean results. Let's see, because Ke Kevin works on that, and uh, let's see if we can get there. If not, in a worst case scenario, we will have uh, root analysis methodology. Could, could you guys give just like an example of where you're manually altering data and what sort of changes that would be? Uh, for example, we are looking for big rums, okay? And for example, you are looking for a big rum that is somehow related to a very specific topic. And then we've got a lot of noise. Because if we, for example, speak about heart disease, right? We are supposed to get something like uh, cardio, cardia, heart, 
uh, heart failure, etc. Okay, but suddenly we get their kidney, kidney uh, respiratory complications, which are not related to heart disease, etc. Okay, so we kind of get a lot of noise as an output. I can uh, uh, just message me and I'll show you the output and what it should be like. Uh, uh, like you will, you will see the difference. It also okay, so j just from that example, and this is something we can look, look, look at later, we have time, but the, ma the changes you're saying that you're making are manual could be substantiated in the context of a data set, just like you're talking about organs. We can have a data set that lists all of the organs and their aliases, and we can understand that if a document mentions kidneys 10 times and mentions heart once, then it is primarily going to be about the kidneys. So it would actually just be a very scientific process evaluating two data sets together in order to draw a conclusion. And um, you don't even need to make it anything explicit that you know, it's manually edited. Uh, there, it's not that things are really manually edited. It's more like that things are manually excluded. Like we, are get, we, get some, we have some code, it gets us some list. Uh, and that's, that, then this list we kind of filter, as, I, as, as for my understanding at the moment, this filtering is more like common sense and like looking at the relevant roots. Yeah, I think what, what was meant to, to be asked, like uh, not editing the existing data set, but actually adding some logic in our non-expert opinion about things that matter or don't matter in terms of filtering and further pre-processing of the data, right? We're not changing the data set or we're not changing the scientific papers. We're basically adding extra layers of filtering based on our judgment and reasoning, right? Mm -hmm. okay. That's what it seems that's like. What, yeah, that's so, what we do. Okay, we're that was- not the, We're not changing the papers. Yep. That's, that's a, no, no, we're I, not editing the data. We are editing the, the end grounds extracted by removing yeah, some that perfect. produce irrelevant Makes sense. results. I, I think we're on the same page now. Okay. Cool. Anything else? I, I have one more question for you guys. And sorry to grill you. Um, I've said a few times during this call, you said we need to get this reproducible code up and get that happening. What is the current barrier to accomplishing that, that causes that not to be the case right now? And that what still needs to be done in order for that to be possible? Uh, we still, we, like I can share with you the codes that we have at the moment, the notebook. And the problem with, with uh, that one is that besides the very uh, relevant and great big rumps, we also get completely irrelevant, noisy uh, big rumps. Where is the problem? Where is the problem lays exactly? Technically, I cannot tell you at the moment. So, by reproducible, you actually you, you mean generic because I, I think right because you you do Gen have to mean generic that initially gives you good results without noise. That's what I meant. Okay. So, okay. Let, let, let me let me jump into that a bit. Uh, reproducible is not the correct uh, word. That may that may be confusion there. The issue is that uh, when you search uh, with uh, frequency-based approach to find the big grams and three grams, you will get a lot of irrelevant uh, big grams from relevant papers because there are many common words being mentioned everywhere. So when, uh, in the example Maya said before, when you look into papers dealing with heart, you may have kidney failure in the same, so it will be extracted as a potential uh, big gram and you have to manually go there and remove it from the list because it will fetch other papers that uh, are not related to heart. Sure. That's what's going on at the moment, yes. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's pretty good actually. It's, you, you have something that's reproducible. Um, it just, you know, you, you have, it seems like you probably have a custom function for filtering in each place. Yeah. Is, that, is that the format it's in today? What I meant is that when we will put it on Kaggle, and but, uh, let's say the person will try to run code and, now, and get the result that we've got, okay? It won't happen. 
he will help he will get at this point a lot of like noise irrelevant things that are not uh good good for a for a particular right. so, so then you took that you took that output and you filtered it through some process that you did deduced from thinking about it and using common sense and you had a got a different data set which is a subset of that is that correct uh it's it's not exactly correct because if you will st uh, start searching assume you uh you started to uh find some parts related big big uh, big okay and then you got a big ramp that contains the wording uh kidney failure okay if you will apply now to the whole data set a uh, big ram uh, kidney failure uh, it will actually bring you a lot of uh, papers that are not related to heart uh, problems does it make sense it, how are, how are you um so, so do you have a result that you are happy with where you have put it through a process to get something yes, happy because, with or is it just yeah, nice yeah, yes. keywords Yes, because I have a kind of external sources that already process this data set and I have an ability to go and kind of check what do I get when I use specific wording. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm just going to t tell me if this statement, you know, it would, is true, true or false. If instead of having like a free text search, you had a white list of terms that you could search. So maybe you have 100 terms that you've decided are good and it works for those 100 terms. Would it work in a way that were reproducible? And that you would- Yes, but that's exactly what we are doing as I understand. Cool. Yes, the, the, oh, white, yeah. the white list is not created automatically. That's what, uh, that's yeah, what so you're, you're saying. You're creating the white list, but are you, are you processing it? Be, are you process, processing the data or creating a generic way to say that it should be added to the white list or are you just determining what the white list is? We kind of, for heart disease, we kind of understand at the moment what the white list is. Okay, but there's other ones we get, we, that we have to work through. Yeah. Okay, and no, that's, that's, that, that's great. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get with you on Slack just to find out where I can find those resources. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Amazing. Thanks, Mike. Thank you so much. Uh, we should move, I believe, to the uh, general call. Thank you, everybody, for an amazing job. This is amazing. I, I feel like today's call is just amazing. Like everything is fit together and everyone is syncing and getting on the same page uh, much faster. So that's great. All right. Thanks, guys. See you on a daily call. General Thank call. You. Thank Bye. you. Bye.